Um, one last feature uh, before we leave. This is a new feature, and this is the only feature that is not <laughs> feature parity. Uh, and uh, this is the saved program stage working lists. Uh, since 2.39, we have been supporting program stage working lists in uh, the Capture app. Um, but uh, from 2.40 onwards, it is also possible to, to save this program stage working list and they will show up on Android. So um, you will see the saved lists both on web and Android. Um, I'm going to give you a short demo uh, before rounding off today. And I will share a different screen. Let's see. Uh, this feature was also released after the um, um, after the two forty release uh, or the version two forty was um, was uh, frozen. So to get this feature, you will also have to update your capture app version in the app uh, management app. Let me share my Firefox. And there you should be able to see my um, uh, my Firefox, and this is uh, a version of the um, WHO Ireland Sage Tracker where I have um, uh, prepared a small demo of these new working lists. Um, the new working lists are very conspicuously hidden under the option of more filters here. Um, I'm looking at the standard uh, working list and, and under more filters, I can find the um, attributes and uh, other um, tracked entity instance related um, filters as usual. I, but I also have a new option at the very bottom called program stage. Uh, and when you select this option, then um, the, um, the list here, uh, although looking the same, goes into a different mode. Um, and um, I'm uh, selecting now the antenatal uh, care visit uh, program stage to make uh, a, a de uh, demonstrate a list for you. Uh, this is a list that combines tracked entity attributes and data elements, but only from the antenatal care visit stage. Uh, it will allow me to do things like um, uh, selecting only uh, records where uh, the patient is smoking. Um, I can filter the columns what is based on what is useful for me. I can maybe remove some of these attributes and I can add, um, for example, the um, smoking and whether they got smoking cessation counseling. And uh, I now have a working list to follow up on. I can say that um, I have these two uh, patients smoking and for some reason we did not give uh, cessation counseling to Linda Bailey and um, even though she was smoking and this might be one thing that you want to follow up on, on in your data. Uh, we uh, know there are use cases in, in lab, in uh, contact tracing where um, you're, you want to follow up on, um, on events uh, linked to a tracked entity instance in a tracker program um, where we think this uh, feature will be very useful. Uh, another use case can be um, uh, like my pre uh, already saved working list here called overdue events in ANC or scheduled ANC visits, uh, where you want to see a list of upcoming visits and their appointment dates over here. Um, and um, uh, we think there's many other use cases that will also benefit from this. Uh, these lists. Um, looks like the, um, the tracker lists and you don't really see a difference between the scheduled ANC visits and the, and the uh, tracked entry instance list that is called active pregnancies. Um, uh, and clicking them, you will be able to navigate between them uh, like uh, you would expect. They also work the same as the tracked entry instance lists uh, when it comes to sharing. Um, so you will be able to share it with other users um, in the same way as you can for other working lists. Uh, as Marta mentioned, they are also available on Android. So um, uh, we uh, hope this is a feature that uh, will be uh, helpful in many use cases.